Hi everyone, Kathy Campbell here, the Photox Helper, and I'm going to show you the magic way that you probably already are able to bulk resize your images to upload to your website. One of the biggest issues I see with photographers now that I work with is they will upload the full sized images. And this is crazy. Not only does it take forever to load, it takes forever for your clients to load the images when you are, when they're on your website, but it also takes up so much space on your host server, which is crazy. You don't need to do that. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to put all the images that you want to resize using Photoshop. I will see you on my computer shortly. All right guys so even though I am on a Mac these steps will work the exact same way on a PC. So you're gonna want to go to the folder that you are going to want to resize. You can do this on multiple sessions you don't have to do this every time if you want to go through even and re-upload your images on your website which might be a little bit pushing it but if you want to do that you can all you need to do is make sure the images that you want to resize they are going to be batch done from a folder so you need to make sure that you have a folder that you want to resize so i'm going to use this these images from a session i did um for editorial shoot we're going to uh, just make sure you know where the folder is so now we go into Photoshop you're gonna go to file scripts image processor now this is a tool that not many people use which is kind of crazy it's already built into Photoshop I believe it's even Photoshop elements I don't know for sure though since I don't have it to check but this should be something that's everywhere you need to do so first step look it's even numbered for you number one select the images to process so you can use open images this will take a longer period of time instead I'm going to select the folder we're going to go to the folder that I'm going to do click open and then I like to save in the same location what this does is it will make a subfolder called JPEG that will allow it to um, just be all in the same folder since I do have my structure uh, set up. However, you can also save it in a different folder if you like. Um, I'm going to choose the Save as JPEG, Quality 12, and I'm going to resize to fit. Now, I earlier I had it at 800, so I'm going to do the, change this to 900 pixels by 900 pixels. Now, this will not save your images as a square. What this does is that it will resize to fit so that the longest side, whether it's horizontal or vertical, the longest side of your image will be 900 pixels. So if it's vertical, the height will be 900 pixels and the width will be whatever size that ratio is set to. The same for if it's a horizontal image, the width will be a, at 900 and the height will be whatever uh, the ratio asks for. You can also save this as a PSD and a TIFF file. However, I don't need to do that. And if you want to run an action, you can also choose any of your actions that you uh, want to do. So if you want to add a little bit of extra sharpen or you want to add some copyright info, anything on there. However, mine is just fine. We're just going to save it as a JPEG and you click run. So now this will go through and it's going to take those images and it's just going to resize it. That's all it needs to do. It's going to process it fairly quickly. And just like that, it's done. And you're set. So now you can go into that folder. You're gonna see you have a folder called JPEG. And these are going to be the resize if two. So 900 width, width by 596 height, which is how it's set to be. And voila, you are good to go. And you'll also notice that the uh, DPI is set to 72, which is exactly how you want it since it is a web-based. You don't need a 300 DPI for your website. Useless. 
So that's how it works. I hope you guys love this little tip and that it helps your workflow go super fast uh, and also it relieves the stress on your server. Let me know in the comments below or on my Facebook page if you liked it. And I hope to do more of these soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.